Yasni, yeah. We on freeze like Vasni, yeah. Twin turbo, that's tag team. Drag race, no drag queen. Straight fuel injection, yeah. That's max speed, no vaccine. Fast name, I'm a swear. Whoa! Kino is fun up, yo! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to go for a POV drive in this 570 horsepower Audi RS3. It's a 2011 model. Obviously, you know what it is. It's up on the website, llfgames.com. Someone's gonna be winning it for 99p. Are you mad? This car is sick. So yeah, we're gonna go for a little drive before we even get into it. Have a listen. Whoa, Jesus. You know what I'm loving? I'm loving using the fucking gear selector. It just makes me feel like I'm driving a manual RS3. Just listen to how mad this RS3 is. I don't know what it is. I'm just getting a lot of lot of sound coming from the rear. It's like an explosion. So yeah, 2011 Audi RS3 finished in Daytona Grey. As I already mentioned, 570 brake horsepower. Sorry, 570 PS. Uh, it's actually around 560 horsepower at workout to 730 newton meters of torque. Of course, 2.5 liter turbocharged engine. There is a little secret with this car. Some of you may have not read the spec correctly for anyone that's bought a ticket, but this car actually has the new RS3 engine in it. So we're not talking the brand new, brand new like 2022. We're talking just the generation RS3 after this. It has the five v engine yeah so it's got the iron block the stronger engine which means 570 horsepower for this car is absolutely nothing let's have it then whoa you know it's spun up yo three second that is mad that is mad bro you know when a four wheel was not four wheel drive but you know when an all-wheel drive car spins it's mad isn't it wow you know when a all-wheel drive car spins up we have got some fucking ponies mate Planted, but with this bit of bit of rain, got to be a little bit cautious. So um, yeah, TTE 625 turbo kit. This car was originally built by MRC Tuning, uh, which is where it dynoed 570 PS. Uh, as of recent, it has gone to another company uh, where it's had the the newer engine installed. It's had uh, obviously some 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 later revisions, some other tuning. I forgot the name of the company, it's CM something. But this car is very very well documented it's got almost every optional extra from factory apart from heated rear seats we've got leather knee pad here we've got extended leather armrest we've got adaptive cornering lights guys this is something that you don't even get on like later 2022 cars it's got adaptive cornering lights bro like that was a mad feature <laughs> So it's got a forge intake, BMC air filter. It's also sitting on a fully adjustable KW suspension, which can be controlled via a mobile app. So yeah, that's fucking a sick, sick modification on this car. Over 20,000 pounds in modifications as well. We're gonna go first gear, man. You're not supposed to spin up four wheel cars like. Whoa, bro. It spins through second, man. What the I just find it so weird, isn't it? Because it's all wheel drive. It's like, bro, is it supposed to do that? It's also got big brakes, eight pot calipers, AP racing discs uh, on the front. It's got uh, RS6 discs on the rear. Like this car from the exterior, it looks pretty OEM plus looking, but do not be confused. 20,000 pounds of modifications. I've not even gone through a quarter of what this car has. So look, this is what you do, you just cruise. You come on boost and then... fast car 
car, not for the faint-hearted, this car. I know it sounds a bit cheesy me saying that, but it's very, very fast. I know that like, a lot of RS3s run 500 plus horsepower, but to be in this shape car, it's a little bit different. Like, of course, it's a capable vehicle, but it is an older, heavier version. It feels a little more clumsy than, than say, like the facelift RS3. I've driven a few of them. Don't get me wrong, it turns in nice, but these are heavier, and Man, it really goes, boy. When this car was new, we would have been like, oh bro, it's four wheel drive, it's no driving feel, it's, you know, too too much technology. But now you get into this versus, say, the, the, the newer RS3 or even just the, the generation after this. This car feels old school now. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, feels like there's soul in this car. It doesn't feel perfect. I'm a huge fan now of cars with imperfections. Whoa, bro. And it's nice over this road. Like, you can feel the KWs. Like, that's what I love about KW suspension. You get a much more dynamic, capable vehicle, but it still soaks up roads lovely. You know, it's not sort of tram lining or anything, but you can feel it's not got the razor sharp. Uh, front end of the, the, the later RS3. Yeah, it's definitely softly sprung, man. As I say, fully adjustable via your mobile app. So, put it in neutral, give it a little rev. Bro, the five cylinder is just nuts, isn't it? What are these about? 340, maybe 350 from factory. I'm sure these were about three. Were they 340 horsepower? I know the, 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 the new gem was a little bit more, and then the, the facelift was about 400, but. I mean, 200 extra horsepower, or well, 240 extra horsepower is pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, it's got brand new RS3 injectors as well. Full service history, guys. Uh, two owners from new, literally, no joke. 70,000 miles on the clock. And as I say, someone will be winning this car for 99p, believe it or not, this Sunday at 10.30. So get your tickets, people. Guaranteed winner, no extensions, no rollovers. Ticket link will be in the description. <laughs> oh shit you definitely got to be um a little bit more cautious this car weren't designed to have an extra 240 brake horsepower you can feel it's not as rigid there's a little tiny bit of roll the suspension's tying everything together you do have to turn the wheel a little bit more than you'd like to like into these corners, I've really got to cross my arms over to get on my light. See it? Like, really crossing over my arms. Bro, ski. And I love the fact that we ain't got no ethanol, no methanol, no fucking race fuel, no octane boosters. Uh, although the previous owner did say that he always runs octane booster just to sort of hire the octane to lessen any risk it's a highly modified car anything can go wrong with modified cars guys it don't matter if you've built your engine it don't matter if you've got a super conservative tune there can be imperfections in these mechanical parts you know and they can just give way at some point but yeah lovely car man i've been driving it for probably a day or two and, and she's spot on man spot on reliable rs3 boy even revving it out bro like I'm, I'm revving it out thinking i'm at the top of the rp i don't even know what it revs to like definitely a little bit more lag than the stock turbo whoa what does it rev to it revs to like i don't even know man like seven and a half or something and look let's see it's nice and soft like it's yeah guys i am gonna end the video in a second as always of course if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new remember this sunday 10 30 i'll be going live on the lf games facebook where i'll be revealing the winner of this car literally someone will be winning it for 99p congratulations to the gold far winner he bought two 99p tickets and won a gold far insane so yeah till next time people so yeah guys we've got the winner of the gold far two tickets two tickets one pound 98 yeah man's a gold far up now killed it class gone <laughs> A class gone, yeah? A class of a black box gone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone in South London who wants free smoke? And you lot have been watching the channel as well? Oh, ages. Yeah? Yeah. Really long. When, 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 I hear, when I hear people talk about M3 versus RS, what's the other video you mentioned? C6. C6 RS6. Yeah, yeah. Anthony, if you're watching. Bro, these men watch the channel. Three, they three, know. Five, what are you saying then? You're not going to keep the car? Just going to ramp about in it for a bit? Yeah. yeah. 
head of streets really, isn't it? <laughs> like, now I've got the confidence, not like the real world. Yeah, so you had an M140, you say? Or? Yeah, stock M140 Sunset. Yeah. Um, got rid of it, just too pricey, really, for that petrol. These are sick. Nice. I appreciate Brother? it, man. Thank you Smashed so much. it. Thank you. Nice to meet you, bro. Come on, bro. Soon come.